All right. Well, I picked it up yesterday and I drove around the corner just to see how a car is doing. And this happened. Oil everywhere. Look, it's on the street. Welcome back to another video. My name is Iori. Oh, I know you guys wanted some FD content. Today's your lucky day. But I have to be honest with you, FD is kind of broken. Well, I didn't do anything crazy. It's not my fault. I had my oil coolers upgraded while I was in Japan by what I thought was a good shop. Turns out they're extremely unprofessional and they make a lot of shortcuts even though they're one of the most expensive shop on the island if you're in okinawa japan this is your warning stay out of taki Oto, out of gate two no do not go there and if you want some info hit me up on instagram i can show you some pictures and all that but today we're gonna fix taki's mistake i'm gonna start uh, by taking off the bumper but it should be real pain because I've never done it before As you guys can see there is a oil stain from dripping that hasn't even started so it's dripping from somewhere there there is a puddle right here you can see that eel because i wanted to prepare for the arizona heat i ordered petite racing oil cool upgrade those are pretty expensive really nice kit so the kit includes all the holes and fittings all the way to the block so as you can see this oil cooler is actually upside down <laughs> and he cut the lines and put it put into the old lines so now it's sitting really low it's too low and maybe something um, pulled on it when I was test driving this um, caused the oil leak I don't know I am pretty upset but I believe in karma, so that's okay. And the worst part is he tried to keep the AN fittings and lines. He thought I wouldn't notice. But long story short, I got my shit back. Well, I'm not in a good position now because he cut the lines and I don't have enough line to install it correctly. I just have to wait to save enough money to get another set of lines now. But... I'm gonna start working on my car and trying to fix it. Now I have to go to O'Reilly's to get some oil to find out where the leak is. So first thing first, I'm gonna unplug the EGI fuse so the car actually doesn't start. It doesn't actually start. Let me see. Uh, it's kinda... mm, okay. Oh, hope I didn't break it. Okay, it's out. Ready? Yep. Uh, 
No, nothing happened. Go ahead. Again. No. Okay, so I'm gonna put the EGI back on and try it again. Ready? Yep. The oil cooler right here. Uh, it's like squirting like a motherfucker. Do you want to see it? It squirted out like right there. Uh. It was. It was a lot. Ready? Yeah. Stop! Stop! Alright, I look really rough right now, but okay. Looks like I have to order another oil cooler from Petite. Damn it! It's expensive! Unfortunately, it was not in fittings like I wanted to be, but I still mean I said about Tuckies. You seen the work. It's not good. And I paid a lot of money for that. I'll probably order another one online tonight and it'll probably be like another couple of weeks so i'll see you in a couple of weeks bye